To compete globally, Nigerian Customs Service must leverage technology and automate its processes. The Comptroller General of the Service, Ahmed Ali, asserted the position in response to questions regarding the current customs modernization project that has been controversial. Ifunaya is a report. Comptroller General of Customs, Hamid Ali, arrived at the Customs Training School in Lagos. Following an inspection of the Guard of Honor, the Comptroller General and his management team proceeded to the parade grounds. Mentoring the intending officers, he gave them insight into how to operate in an ICT-driven organization. It's okay to say I want to be a custom officer, but there are ground rules that get you to survive in customs. And that, was, that is the reason why I'm here, to impart that knowledge and also get a feedback from them. And uh, I'm highly encouraged by their confidence and the questions they ask. This is one of the most uh, rigorous recruitment we have done. Uh, in, uh, and this is the one that has complied with the federal character in its whole entirety, whereby we have representatives from each local government, 774 local government. It was an opportunity to ask him about the controversies surrounding the $3.2 billion customs modernization project. It is a straightforward project of modernization which we adopted, and it started when I came in in 2015. Uh, we laid the, the foundation. We needed a more rigorous uh, modernization process whereby in, in the course of our doing, doing our, our, our job, we must get to a point that we are at par with best customs administrations. And most customs administrations today are operating on a paperless uh, process. There are so many stories about we are, we are going to waste $3.62 billion. No. This is, a, this is a PPP project. This is private partnership project. This go, these guys are going to earn their money from what we collect. It's not that government is going to take anything out of his budget. Under the public-private partnership arrangement, the concessionaire will invest $3.2 billion over a 20-year period. This is expected to generate over $200 billion in federal revenue, according to customs management. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.